Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? Elder Rose Gaming here. Not exactly. Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? Elder Rose Gaming here. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to install a mod. Uh, honestly, I forgot what it was called, but it it is awesome. It turns all of the mobs into giants. Well, I shouldn't say all because some of them do not change as the ocelots and the cats. And zombie pigment didn't change. And I think there was one more. Yeah, uh, the mushroom and the villagers and, you know, the pillagers as well. They did not change. But look at this. It They do more damage. Not only do they do more damage, but they have better loots when you kill them. So here goes the zombie right here. Here's the creeper. When the creeper explodes, it is a huge explosion bigger than this square that he is inside of right now. Right here, this is the skeleton. And then here's the slime right here. And then sea turtles were also given a huge boost in size. And I'm so freaking glad the wolves are giant. That means you could tame them and have giant wolves. I'm assuming they have more health and deal more damage, so that's cool. And then here you go, the birds. They're just as big as you now, and they could still sit on your freaking shoulder when you tame them. I tested this before. It's pretty dope. Mushrooms, like I said, didn't change. Sheep, they, uh, they are j just bigger. And also, when you kill them, they drop cooked mutton. Same goes with the pig. They drop cooked pork chop. Stop, stop. What are you guys doing to each other? This is weird. What the heck? <laughs> But yeah, the pigs are giant, uh, chickens are giant, same, they drop cooked chicken, and these drop cooked beef. So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys how to install this mod on your Minecraft on Xbox One. It's actually really fun, I was playing survival on it, well actually I wasn't, but I let my little brother play survival on it to let me know if he thinks it's a good mod. And he said yeah, it was really fun, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. Quick shout out to my Discord, linked in the description. If you guys have any problems installing this mod at all, go ahead and join my Discord server, linked in the description. Same with all my social medias. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, you know, anything else, it will all be linked in the description. Same with, I will have a bunch of other mods that you've never seen linked in the description, like Better Water. Uh, so if you guys want better water in your Minecraft, go ahead and follow that tutorial linked in the description. Okay, so I put myself in creative mode. I thought it would be really cool to show you guys the explosion of the creeper. So I'm going to go ahead and let... Actually, I could just go to a random one. So uh, let me set spawn right here so I, uh, I don't have to fly all the way back. Okay, so now that I set world spawn, I'm going to go ahead and uh, have this creeper blow up for me right here. And uh, you guys can see... How huge the explosion is when a creeper blows up. Come on. Come over here, creeper. Blow up up here. And there you go, just like that. That is how gigantic the explosion is. So if this thing blows up near your house, GG, man. You're going to have to rebuild a huge portion of it. And if it's a small house, yeah, GG, uh, it's gone. And I also wanted to test if this egg thing was true. I read on the website that if you throw a chicken egg, it throws TNT. Oh my god, wow. That is so freaking dope. Oh my god, wow. Holy crap. Wow, chicken eggs are overpowered. Holy crap. Okay, so I went ahead and gave myself a diamond sword so I could show you guys each of the drops for all the mobs. So I'm going to go ahead and put away all this stuff back in my inventory. And then I'm going to kill them one by one and see what they drop. Here we go. Here's the witch. They do have a bunch of health. Alright, so just drop redstone. I think he dropped diamond for my brother. So I try killing the witches. They might drop diamond for you. Like I swear. Look at the zombie just dropped a whole loaf of bread. How much are you going to drop, Creeper? Oh, just one? Oh, no, it's in, I'm in creative mode, so I can't see how much they dropped. So we'll just kill them all, and we'll see how much they drop for us afterwards. Oh, my God. See? I told you they dropped diamonds. That is so sick. Diamond isn't as overpowered just because of how much damage they deal to us now. 
So here we go, kill all these sheep. There you go, drop in their cooked beef. Now let's check. Okay, see, we got one diamond, seven arrows from one skeleton, and all this food, like, okay, I guess it's random. The pork chop could be dropped raw, but as you can see, the cows did drop cooked beef, and the chickens did drop cooked chicken. Not only that, but we got a whole diamond to ourselves and some bread. So, dude, if this mod works out for you guys and it installs correctly, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if new. Turn on notifications. It's hard to grow on YouTube, but as of recent, I have been blowing up thanks to you guys. So, I wanted to say thank you for 9,000 subscribers. It's insane. I'm almost at 10K and it's only been three weeks. All of you are crazy, man. I, I appreciate it. So, hopefully, you guys enjoy the mod today. Uh, leave a comment letting me know if it worked for you also if you enjoyed the mod so yeah let's get straight into the tutorial before we start the tutorial I wanted to let you guys know if you are having any problems issues installing any of my mods join my discord linked in the description and if you want to follow my social media it'll be there too along with a bunch of other mods you might not have installed linked in the description so, the first step would be to push the middle button, go over to the right all the way, and then click on settings. Once all of this is done loading, you will go down to on the left side to display and sound, then video output. Right here in the center under advanced, click on video fidelity and overscan. After getting into here, over on the right, you will see overscan border. Make sure that there is no check mark inside of this box. Boom. That's what it looks like with the check mark. Boom. That's what it looks like without the check mark. Make sure that there is no check mark inside of this box or else you will not be able to install any of these mods. Step two would be to go ahead and make sure you have file downloader installed, file explorer installed, Microsoft Edge installed, and ufo.transfer. All four of these apps must be installed in order to install the mods. So. If you do not have file down uh, file explorer and cannot find it in the Microsoft store, do not leave a comment. Go on my Discord, ask them, they might be able to help you, but if they can't help you just Google how to get file explorer on Xbox 1 for free or whatever. I don't know. It was on here for me by default. It might not be on there for you because a lot of people have been having that issue that they don't have they can't find this, they don't have it. I don't know how to get it. It was on here for me automatically. So, the Next step would be, after making sure you have all four of these apps installed, open up Microsoft Edge and navigate yourself onto this website, mcpedl.com. You can search it on Google, you can search it on Bing, you could search it on Yahoo, it doesn't matter. As long as you get to this website, once you are on here, over at the top right, you're going to click on the magnifying glass and search SC, boom, and then press pause after you type SC. And then you scroll down until you see SC Mega Mobs add-on. That is what this mod is called, Mega Mobs. It, the picture looks just like this. And if they change the picture in the future, just know that it, this is the title right here. So go ahead and click on that once you find it. And then scroll down past all this amazing, useful information. Uh, right here is all of the things that happen with the mod. If you guys want to go ahead and pause the video and read any of that. Uh, you know, they not only change the size, but also how the mobs work. So it's pretty cool. Once you are on this, scroll all the way down past all that. Right here, downloads. You're going to press on this right here. Download v2.1 SC Mega Mobs New. So if, they, if this is like a newer version in the future, it will be the same way to install it. So I will not need to make an update video. So go ahead and press on this download link. It should open up a website where you have to click I am not a robot boom it's pretty easy and then the check mark comes on and then you have to it'll ask you to select all squares with blank and then it'll ask you traffic light for me it's asking traffic lights so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick all the pieces that have a track traffic light in them boom and then verify there you go that easy and then you click here to continue Once this is done loading, you could click get link. Alright, so a new tab opened. I'll just go ahead and close that. And right here, 
mega mobs if you guys are having trouble getting onto this media fire link i will have it linked in the description and you could also copy the media media fire link up top if you want to but yeah it'll be linked in the description just open up this youtube video on microsoft edge go to the description and click on the media fire link it should take you here once you are on here go ahead and hover over download it is a big rectangle that is green and then hover over it press the pause button aka the button with the three lines and then copy link after you copy link we're going to open up the other app that i told you to make sure to have on your xbox file downloader once file downloader is done loading you're going to go over to the top left click the three lines and then click from url once you are in from url you click on local storage once you click on local storage you're going to hover over enter or paste it here and press the pause button if okay if paste doesn't come up just move the left analog around and it should come up but once paste comes up you're going to press a to paste that is it and then uh, if this comes up just press b and then go ahead and navigate yourself over to the right side where the arrow is inside of the circle pointing down press a on that and there you go after you press a on that over at the bottom the big rectangle that says start boom click on that and what this will do is it will download the file we need after it's done downloading over at the top left the three lines click on it again and then go to storage once we are inside of storage you're going to click on local storage right here you will find sc mega mobs behavior add-on you're going to click the check mark to the left of it and then go over to the bottom right where the three dots are and press a on the three dots and then go to rename boom once you click rename you will push right bumper one time and then erase the mc add-on leave the dot right there and just put z i p so it should be sc mega mobs behavior dot zip so once you do that push b and then go to it and press ok and boom there you go now we should be able to access all of the files inside of this zip folder if it says it's corrupted just re-download it and try again from step one uh, but once you have this go ahead and press a on it to open it up and then go to the bottom right where you see the three lines the two check marks in the square press a on it after you press a on that over on the left of it you will see the paper pointing to the paper press that boom after you press that you're going to press b to go back and then go over to the bottom right where the clipboard is now what this will do is it will paste what we copied into here so go ahead and press the clipboard boom there you go pasting it might take a while to ha just have patience take your time pull up your phone uh watch another youtube video i don't know uh freaking do whatever play a game on your phone whatever it'll take a while to paste but once it's done pasting it will appear on the left side just like this se mega mobs this is the texture and then se mega mobs behavior obviously the behavior so what we will do now is open up the other app i told you to make sure you have downloaded ufo.transfer after ufo.transfer is done loading over at the top right you will see a gear icon if you do not have this gear icon over at the top right that means you skipped step one make sure to rewind the tutorial and find out what step one is in order to get this gear icon to appear at the top right okay so if you do already have this go ahead and click on the gear and then right here on the left side you will see a big rectangle that says open in file explorer go ahead and press a on that and what this will do is it'll give you access to a folder inside of file explorer that you normally cannot access so over at the top go ahead and click on packages once packages is done loading you're going to want to find the megascopes.universal file it has a bunch of random numbers in it so uh it might take you a while to find it my yours might be lower yours might be on the left side yours might be higher so once you find this folder megascopes.universal file with a bunch of random numbers in the beginning of it go ahead and make sure to press a on that open it up go into local state go into well actually we're already here so uh first we're going to move the behavior pack so go ahead and hover over the sc mega mobs behavior press pause aka the button with the three lines and then copy after you copy we are going to go over to the top onto packages and then go all the way down until you find uh, microsoft.minecraft uwp console mines is on the left yours might be on the right yours might be a little higher your mi yours might be a little lower it depends on your xbox and what you have downloaded so right here microsoft 
Minecraft UWP console. Once you find it, go ahead and press A on that, and then go into Local State Games Mojang. Once you are in here, if you do not have a behavior underscore packs or a resource underscore packs folder, you are going to have to create them by going to the bottom and clicking the paper with the plus sign. And then just name it behavior underscore packs, spelled exactly just like mine. If you misspell it, it will not work. So after you have this behavior packs and resource packs, you're going to open up behavior packs, go over to the bottom right and click the clipboard to paste the behaviors that we copied earlier. Boom, there you go. Now we are going to go back by pushing B and go back one more time by pushing B. And then over at the top, you will see packages. Boom, go into packages again, go into the Megascopes folder just like the first time. And then right here, go into local states. And right here, mega SC Mega Mobs, not SC Mega Mob Mega Mobs behavior. SC Mega Mobs, the one that does not have behavior. Go ahead and hover over it. Press the pause button and key the button with the three lines, and then copy. After we copy it, we're going to do the same thing as we did before. We're going to go into packages again at the top, and then find the Microsoft dot uh, Minecraft UWP folder. Uh, open that up, and then go into local state games. Mojang right here resource underscore packs like I said if you don't have this folder you're gonna to have to create it the same way I told you before make sure it's spelled correctly but once you have it go ahead and open it up go over to the bottom right where the clipboard is and click on the clipboard to paste what we copied and boom just like that we have the SC Mega Mobs in the correct location next you're going to have to open up Minecraft and equip it so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that correctly uh, so stay watching the tutorial boom as soon as it loads I'll show you guys how to do that once your minecraft is done loading you're going to press play and then go and create a new world because I don't think it's a smart idea to put this mod in particular that changes the entire world so drastically onto a world you're currently playing so go ahead and equip the resource pack the same way I'm doing once you equip the resource pack Go ahead and go into behavior packs and equip the behavior pack. Boom. Continue. It'll disable achievements. There you go. Uh, so once you have that in there, if you do have a shader pack, you can go ahead and put it over it uh, and it'll work just fine. So once you have uh, the mod equipped on behavior and resource packs, you're going to go ahead and create game. I'm going to name this world uh, SC Mega mobs just so i know that this is my survival world with mega mobs inside of it so boom just like that uh I, I don't know let me see i'll put it in creative just because you know i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys you know all the mobs that spawn naturally once you go ahead and have all that set up go ahead and click create and i'm gonna skip to the point where the world finishes loading once your world is finished loading, you will have the purple world along with the custom mobs in it. So I'm going to go ahead and just fly around and show you guys just for a little bit because, you know, I don't want the video to be too long that it does change everything and they do spawn naturally, which is freaking awesome. And here we go. We have a uh, village. <laughs> it's pretty funny because the, the mobs are so much bigger than these villagers. I wonder what's inside of the chest in here. Let's go ahead and take a look. Yo, that's sick. A diamond and obsidian. That's pretty good. And, a, you know, iron chest plate. That's pretty good for like the beginning. I wonder if you could still... Oh, wow. Look at this. This is a really cool generated area with the tree and the bells and the cobble. That's real sick. But that's not the mod. That's just an awesome freaking seed. I like this seed, but yeah, um, it's not nighttime yet. Creepers and all of them aren't spawning yet, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it into nighttime. All right, now that it's nighttime, mobs should be spawning. Look at how quick that was. Here goes a giant creeper, and then uh, what else? There should be like spiders. Oh, there you go. Oh, my gosh. They're attacking the villager, the giant zombies. Wow, he's done for. There's no way he's going to survive this. Oh my god, there you go. And just like that, he turned into a freaking zombie. Wow. I still can't get over that. The chicken eggs explode real crazy like. Look at the golem. The golem's trying to fight them. Oh my god, holy crap. Wow. Oh, he killed them. Oh my god, this guy's a monster. 
So make sure to have a bunch of iron golems at your base, because they actually do really well against these OP mobs. And for some reason, the zombie was fighting the skeleton. Oh my god, dude, this guy. Oh shit, dude. Wow, look at this. MVP right here. So go ahead and hit the like button for the iron golem that just wrecked everyone. And he's obviously a master prestige in every Call of Duty. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit, like, hit that like button. Shout out to my boy, obviously Ducks. Linked in the description. Uh... And, you know, shout out to my Discord, shout out to everyone that helped me reach 9,000 subscribers. This is insanity. Thank you all very much, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!